The National Dog Show, presented by Purina, is brought to you by J.C. Penney. To fill the season with wonder, unwrap the magic. It's all inside J.C. Penney. And by Petco. For the best pet products and pet care, come to Petco, where the pets go. Happy Thanksgiving to one and all once again. John O'Hurley and David Fry here at the National Dog Show, presented by Purina. This is the Working Group. The working group is judged by Dr. Roger Pritchard from Midwest City, Oklahoma. His steward is Mr. Charles Schaefer. So we're looking at the giant schnauzer. Oh, shut your mouth. Luca. It's a great charismatic dog. He's got a wonderful personality, goes everywhere. With Ben Franzoso, the owner handler. Ben's a uh, police officer in Ardsley, New York. All the policemen in Westchester County are watching. <laughs> the giant schnauzer, there's three distinct breeds of schnauzers. The giant, the standard, are both in this working group, and the miniature schnauzer, who's in the terrier group. They're all called schnauzers, but these are not varieties. These are different breeds. Working dogs were bred to perform specific tasks for people, whether it's pulling, hauling freight, driving cattle, being guard dogs. They're all big and powerful. You can see that as you look at them, as you, especially here with the Alaskan Malamute. This is a beautiful coat on this, this dog. Isn't that something? <laughs> it, really, it really is. And, and with the correct standoff coat, these dogs look bigger than they really are. I mean, this is an 85-pound dog. I, you would look at that and think maybe it's a bigger dog than that. You can see this spitz sort of look to it with the pointed ears and the standoff coat. Extremely strong animals. Great family dog, very people-oriented, very smart. Want to please their people. This is Crush. Won the national specialty last year. Malamutes, best in show dog. David, you mentioned that many of these dogs are previous champions, some of them even best in show, but that doesn't mean anything because you only get your two minutes in front of the judge. The wonderful thing about our sport is the subjectivity of the judging. What was important to one judge today might not be so important to a different judge judging the same dog tomorrow. And, and judging is kind of a give and take situation too. No dog is perfect. You may love the head on a dog, but you might not like the way it moves. Now, how are you gonna judge that dog? Is the, does a great head overcome uh, maybe movement that isn't so great? You have to make those decisions as a judge. And you have to look at the big picture. You can't get hung up on parts. As W.C. Fields says, just because you fall in love with a dimple doesn't mean you have to marry the girl. <laughs> and that from a man that never worked with kids or dogs. <laughs> well, to be a judge, you really have to be equal parts engineer, know where everything goes, all the angles, all the measurements, and artist. You have to have a picture of what looks good and what's pleasing to the eye. Thank you. Take her down to the, or take him down to the. We see the Siberian Husky. Seven-year-old dog. This dog just won the Siberian Nationals. And again, the big entry today in Siberians, 117 of them. You know that the winner that comes forward is a pretty good dog. Absolutely. There's a brown Newfoundland. It's an unusual color. I don't recall seeing one this color before. It is unusual. Of course, the most famous Newfoundland in the world these days is Josh, the great black Newfoundland that was best in show at Westminster in 2004. Yeah, looks like he's leaking from the front there, too, isn't he? <laughs> this oh, is <boy>. Zeus. <laughs> you got to love a little bit of well, slime, huh? These dogs are not for neat freaks. They drool, they shed, they fall all over the water bowl. <laughs> The, the best trait that a Newfoundland owner has is the ability to get dressed and get out the door quickly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, down and back. Ready to take his walk. Cleans him up a little bit. Sends him on his way. <laughs> the Newfoundland is not the only one leaking from the mouth. I can tell you who his favorite is. <laughs> Just to remind you, we're only able to show you 
several of the dogs in this group. If you go online to dogshowusa.com, click on National Dog Show, and you can see the walks and the examinations of Thank every you. breed winner in our Best in Group online video special. It also includes the expert commentary from Wayne Ferguson of the Kennel Club of Philadelphia. And we'll go down to Wayne now, who's announcing our next dog. The St. Bernard. This gentle giant gets its name from the hospice of St. Bernard in the Swiss Alps. Tradition has it that these great dogs were taken into the Alps centuries ago and bred by monks as rescue dogs to find people lost in the passes of caught avalanches. The St. Bernard should be even-tempered, well-mannered, and pleasant. He has proven to be a superior companion dog for families with an abundant amount of space, incidentally. And here we see the beautiful, smooth-coated St. Bernard, Myrtle, a two-year-old female, handled by a 12-year-old female, Laura Flannery. A great family sport of showing dogs. We have second and third and even fourth generation families involved in this great sport. This is indeed a family sport as they go from show to show to show around the country. There's something for everybody. There is a great community of spirit backstage, too, among the people that are showing. Absolutely. The American Kennel Club sponsors thousands of events every year, and every aspect of the sport of showing dogs. Go to the AKC website at akc.org. Find the event for you and your dog. He's running down, taking his last pass here. And we'll have his decision when we return to the National Dog Show presented by Purina. Chew toy for lost dog in Colorado, $5. You get yourself lost. Silk doggy bed for trip across Kansas, $200. Bubble bath in Jefferson City, $15. Coming home after a long trip, Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. For your journey, there's MasterCard. I'm all of machine. I'm all of no. I'm all a machine. I I'm all a machine. I'm, I'm I'm all. I'm all a machine. I'm all of machine. I'm an all of machine. <laughs> I'm a love machine. I'm a love machine. I'm a love machine. <laughs> Mad Gab. The game where the more you say it, the more you get it. For more great games, visit MattelGameFinder.com. Life, it's more fun with games. Hey, Paige. Look, honey, I know I've destroyed 10 phones, but I have found the answer. It's the Nextel phone i530 by Motorola, and you can get it at Radio Shack. Look at that. It's a dandy little shade of yellow. It's got GPS and a walkie-talkie system, so you and me could be like this. <laughs> Hello, Mama Bear. <laughs> Hi, Papa Bear. What you up to, Mama Bear? Oh, I'm making you some asparagus steaks. This holiday season, don't just get a gift. Get the right gift at Radio Shack. This is Mia. Mia is a pro plan dog. Her bright eyes, shiny coat, and boundless energy. They're all supported by the quality nutrition in pro plan with the real meat as the number one ingredient. Mia is also a rescued dog. Through Rally to Rescue, ProPlan supports pet rescue to make a difference in the lives of pets, like Mia, because every dog deserves to be a ProPlan dog. ProPlan is available at Petco. ProPlan, the difference is real. Thanksgiving weekend, two NBC movie events for the whole family. Friday, 8, 7 central, Nicolas Cage is the family man. And Saturday at a special time, 8.30, 7.30 Central, Julia Roberts and Richard Gere in Runaway Bride. Friday and Saturday, Thanksgiving weekend on NBC. What you're looking at are the ambassadors for the Above and Beyond English Center Rescue Group. They're backstage here at the National Dog Show presented by Purina, hoping to find homes for these dogs and also recruit volunteers to help them in their local organization. All the money that is generated from the sales of those wristbands and the dog collars you see are donated to these little ambassadors. It's all part of the Pro Plan Rally to Rescue. And if you want to find out more or learn more about this worthy cause, go to rallytorescue.org. As we move on to our working group, here are our winners. The Alaskan Malamute is first. The Giant Schnauzer is second. Third is the Great Pyrenees. And fourth is the Newfoundland. 
Beautiful dogs all. And there you have it. That's five. Five on our way to seven. Seven will give us our group for the best in show as we start with the toy group, one of my favorites, David. And the Italian Greyhound there leading the pack, the powder puff Chinese crested, the Pomeranian, the long coat Chihuahua, the toy fox terrier, the miniature pincher, the toy Manchester terrier, the Havanese, the Maltese, the Shih Tzu, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the English Toy Spaniels, two varieties. The Japanese Chin, the Papillon, the Silky Terrier, and the Yorkshire Terrier. And the Affin Pincher, the Brussels Griffon, the Pug, and last but not least, the Pekingese. David, I salute you for not missing a single one. You, <laughs> never, broke, you a, never broke stride there. I'm not even a toy guy, but I love them all. They're so distinctive, aren't they? They really are. Now these are the miniature version of their larger uh, of the larger breeds. And here's the perfect example. The Italian Greyhound is, of course, a miniature Greyhound bred down, developed as a small breed to resemble the Greyhound, but to be enjoyed more as a companion dog and a bed warmer. These dogs are delicate. They have this great high-stepping free gait. This is the Italian Greyhound, by the way. Very fast, very hardy. Great athletic dog. Blessed to be with you yes, all right the time. This dog says athlete all over. Picture the Greyhound, picture the Whippet. Barely visible from this side. Well, there's he. Is. There he is. Same kind, of, <laughs> same kind of deep chest, tuck up in the loin. Allows them to run. The Italian Greyhound, Dharma. Number one IG in America. Oh, I just identified as a boy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Timothy Lehman is the breeder owner handler here. Beautiful Italian Greyhound. Our judge in the toy group was Mrs. Jean Fournier from Calhoun, Georgia, assisted by ring steward Dr. Samuel Peacock. And here's the Pomeranian. No. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Cute look to the camera there. Standard says that these dogs are supposed to be cocky. They have a sweet, loving disposition, but they're always looking at you as if to say, aren't I cute? David, you know, when we started this some four years ago, the, the dogs reacted more to the cameras than they do right now. It doesn't seem to shock them as much. It almost seems <laughs> as though they're getting used to being on television. Well, it's like being in front of all these screaming, clapping people. You know, these dogs get to a lot of dog shows. Uh, the beauty of our sport is you can be involved at whatever level you want to be involved in, whether it's going to 10 dog shows a year or 20 or 50 or 100. Some of these top show dogs get to 150 dog shows a year. So uh, the dogs at some point, you know, have to be getting used to it. If it's not fun for the dog, you better find another activity for you and your dog. This reminds me of when I walk too fast and my wife is wearing high heels. It's like, so oh, down, please. Yes. This is Dutchie, <laughs> two-year-old dog. It's an import from Thailand, actually. Oh, so Maltese. Now, I have a Maltese at home, and I keep it cut or with the puppy cut there, not this. Every time I see a Maltese like this, I think it's named Zsa Zsa. <laughs> And that's okay to clip your dog. You don't have to put up with all this coat if you don't want to. You're getting the dog as the package, the personality. If you want the coat, that's a bonus. But you have to work at it. These coats just don't happen on their own. No, but they are part of the confirmation. It's important to understand that this is, this, the, the, the coat should go to the floor. Is that the way that it's described? It's sure be beyond even. Mm -hmm. Actually shown with two top knots on top of their head, but that's, it's a single coat. Go straight to the ground. And of course, most of the time, the dog's sitting on somebody's lap anyway, so it doesn't make much difference. This is probably the world's first lap dog. It's an ancient dog with roots in Malta. Well, we've had such a good time with my dog, Scoshi, now 14 years old. As you can imagine, we're just starting to look at colleges. <laughs> just to show you what we do with names here, this dog's registered name is Champion BJ's Pinball Wizard, and its call name is Tommy. Well, Tommy and the rest of the toys continue after this. Yes, Mr. Puppy, there is so much to discover. Uh-huh. Like beneficial healthy growth for puppies with crunchy rice, real chicken, and ooh, real milk. Even vitamin-rich vegetables. There's extra protein for those growing muscles and calcium for developing healthy bones and teeth. You just think you're getting spoiled. Life is good. 
Very good. Beneful Healthy Growth for Puppies. Another healthful, flavorful Beneful. Everybody's talking about Oust, the first and only air sanitizer. Oust is for the air. I thought Lysol was an air sanitizer. Lysol isn't killing the bacteria in the air. Oust is the first and only air sanitizer that kills odor-causing bacteria in the air. I don't think there's anything like this. 